Hi, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the main bass from the track Technoid by Imanu and Halogenics. So this is the original version and this is the bass we're going to be recreating. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch, and the main elements of this sound are a bunch of saw waves, lots of sub and noise. So we are going to turn on every oscillator and it should sound like this. Not super interesting. Let's boost oscillator B two octaves up, detune it by 45 cents. Just so we have that rhythmic phase cancellation. Let's boost the sub and let's bring the level of oscillator B all the way down. And then let's run FM from B. You can already see where this is going. So now we're gonna go into the effects and distort this a lot. We're gonna do it with diode 2. Cool. And again, the flavor that you pick for distortion is the one you're gonna get on the sound. So let's go back into the main tab and we're gonna add a filter. Now we're gonna have oscillator A on this filter and we're gonna set it on a high pass 12. Boost the resonance a lot. And with this, we can select which overtone do we want to be more present in the sound. In this case, around 122 hertz is the harmonic that I wanted. Let's also bring the random phase all the way down so we get a consistent sound. And we can experiment with the phase. There you go. We can boost the resonance even more. And once again, I encourage you to experiment with this cutoff knob. You can get quite interesting results. And also try to differentiate yourself from the sound. Try to make this preset something of your own. Now, there's a very cool effect which is gonna happen when we automate the level of this oscillator. So let's map an LFO into a level right here. Let's add a bit of attack and then let's create a falling shape like this. Let's set our envelope and make it two bars because this sound is quite long. There you go. Nice. You can always program a transient at the end. And you can get very creative with this. Cool. Let's go back into the default thing. There you go. And now let's go into the effects. Let's add some hyper. Which really adds something to the sound. Let's turn on the compressor, add some gain. Then we're going to add a filter. We're going to add the river filter. Bring the cutoff down. Just to add a metallic texture, we can boost the drive a lot and makes this better. And now we have an extra layer of metallic noise into it. Next, we can add an EQ. And on this EQ, we can have a bell that has a very high Q and will help us. Accentuate a harmonic that we really like. In this case, we can boost an octave of the 120 Hz, which will be around 240. Very interesting harmonic. Let's go down a little bit. There you go, we have a very high resonance. Now let's just pull this back a little bit. 
Nice, and now let's jump into some post-processing. So for post-processing, once again, we're using EQs to accentuate specific ranges of frequencies that then we're gonna run through distortion and other effects to create the texture of the sound. So the first EQ looks like this. It's a very big boost on the fundamental and around the one key range. So without it, and with it. Now, obviously, we have a lot of clipping. So in one point of the chain, there is a soft clipping, which actually we're driving super hard. So let's delete this automation, bring it lower. And as you can see, sometimes distortion can add something into the sound. So if I remove this, the DAWs distortion sounds better than this soft clipping from the saturator. So let's actually leave it like this. Let's just bring the level down. But let's just put a limiter on the master for now. Cool. Next, we're going to add some erosion. And this no erosion is just to add noise in the highs. Like that. And then we have another crazy EQ. And on this EQ, we are boosting this off, bringing the second harmonic which will be this one down, and then boosting the two harmonics that create the tone of the sound up. But we designed the sound so good in Serum that I don't think we actually need those, so let's turn them off in case we want that accentuation on those frequencies, we can have it. Or maybe here in the mids. And that is the thing when you're EQing before distorting the sound is that these harmonics are getting distorted thanks to so much clipping that they end up creating new combinations of harmonics. And you can even automate this. Which can be quite interesting. In this case, it's just a static right now. Let's leave it like that for now. We decided to not use the saturator, and now on this final EQ, there's just a slight decrease on this range around 100 Hz, and a bit more noise. Which, as you can see, there's more noise in this range here. So we can bring that down and boost right here. Just to balance a bit better, and we can go back into any point of the chain. and shape or sound using these EQs and that distortion. And so now this is our final result. Comparing it to the original. We accentuated different harmonics. So let's go back into the EQ. There you go, that sounds more like it. We can even go back into this one and try to make our way closer into that original version by accentuating specific harmonics. But this will be the workflow for creating those types of sounds. I hope you learn those principles and put them in practice to create your own versions. So that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. If you want this preset and the project file, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching, hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.